so I've closed the UDK editor. Uh, be warned that this thing loves to glitch out in the weirdest sorts of manners. So I don't need that. No, don't. Documentation, I don't need. Desktop, I don't need. These are all the videos I'm making, so. Okay. Uh, I got a message in a bottle there. So I'm loading UDK Editor again because for some reason my fog setting turned off. For the life of me, I do not know why. Okay, there it is again. I don't know what I've done, uh, but I'm going to open up helmets. I'm just going to kind of show you what I've been. A map like helmet, all the stock static meshes and stuff, there's something seriously wrong. Whatever. So Helmets is comprised of these, all these, everything here, all the sounds, the golden ballista of doom, which actually, I need to figure out what, what happened to my fog first. Oh, there it is, there it is. You just press F and it comes up. So I noticed last night, or the other night, or on August 23rd, 2016, when people were playing, and turning around the ballista, I noticed that the light, uh, it, the lighting for it would, would uh, not work at some points. So, in that instance, to fix that, I'm just going to place lights around it like that, and I'm going to see. There you go. So I'm going to move this one maybe over here, and since my lighting isn't built yet. Um, They're not going to show up. So if I move it away, if I move it over to here, it's, oh, oh, there it is. It shows up a bit. Okay, okay. Anyways. So I'm going to jump in. And I'm a third person junkie, so I'm just going to run down to the uh, catapult for the ah. ballista. see if by turning it whichever way the lighting stops or the lighting dims out on it. So the lighting doesn't dim out on it anymore, which is good. And I noticed it was turning very slowly, so I'm going to set it to 12,000 and I'm just going to simply spawn in here by the blue thing. And it turns pretty good now. This thing is destroying. And I noticed that um, at least if Agatha is coming up here and shooting towards Mason, they can hit both of the other ballistas. Uh oh over there and you're not you're only able to hit that one over there so in this instance I'm going to take these two and just lower them down take these two lower them down take these two lower them down so now when I get on my golden ballista of just love. Um, I got. I can shoot in all directions without obstruction, except for maybe down there. You know. The point of this ballista is just to offer small bursts of. Oh! Drop my microphone in my lap. The point of this ballista is just to offer just complete annihilation for small bursts in small bursts. Somebody isn't going to be up here the whole time, you know, they're completely exposed. And, yeah. 
So what I'm working on right now for the trenches is right here, putting this siding down just so that pe people were having issues jumping over and then getting caught on the landscape there. So I'm hoping this will fix it. This is the first trench. <laughs> These are the first trenches ever made in the game, honestly. I haven't seen any other maps with trenches, so I am slowly putting siding on, and it just makes it look a lot better, too. So, yeah. Let's go back to our new map. Save. You want to save. So here's lovely new map with the skulls in the distance. What do I want to get at here? I don't know. Let's make let's make like a, a little castle thing. Let's type in castle. This castle is amazing. Like there's no castle like this in the game, so you can just delete it. Um, go to static mesh. And there's all these parts of the castle you'll find. You, you'll find, like, say, oh, holy smokes, man. So you got a castle like this that you can take and put over there. And if you're feeling crazy, size it up. Put it way in the distance. Looks cool. It's just cinematic. Uh, it's a no-collision model, too. That's what I was talking about, no-collision models. You'll walk right through it. So, there's all these different parts of castles and structures and stuff that will show up in the content browser. You can choose from anything that you want. It's up to you. There's a gate. That's the smallest gate I've ever seen in my life. Um, like I said, there's just a whole bunch of stuff in the content browser and it's up to you to put it together figure out uh, what works uh, smooth out uh oh if you double click something it brings up this thing and whatever but anyways if you want to put together like a giant circle let, let's do that I'm not sure if this is exactly a quarter sphere or whatever I'm trying to say a quarter of a circle um, alt do this go 90 degrees uh oh there we go uh, let's undo that 90 degrees drag and fit together and like I said before if you come up to something like this and you want to get real close and personal hold right mouse button and scroll down and you'll go nice and slow and it's uh, it's manageable and what I said before you can move your pivot point to there and now uh oh damn it move your pivot point there and now you can move it into place and look at that it snaps right together and now increase my speed again select both um, alt 180 do a 180 Brr. and now move that way and sometimes it will snap right together but you you can see here that it's sort of overlapping a bit so take that and move it back once more and it's snapped together and you got like a perfect circle and so this uh, control G you've got a grouping of this circle put it in the center there uh, expand it out I want it to enclose just the um, just the square. So go back to sizing. Ah, move it into place. 
spawn in. Don't go to Agatha, he's in jail, remember? And voila! I've got a like a little mini Coliseum thing going on. And so I'm getting bored of what this looks like. So go to content browser, bring that down, hit materials, uh, castle brick or uh, brick material. There. See now it looks gigantic, so, you know. There's, there's lots of stuff to figure out. There's a lot of trial and error in this. And uh, it really depends on your level of persistence of what you want to do. So I know that all of these are, you know, this is obviously too big, each one of these squares. So there is a certain way to, I'm sure, to uh, size it down. And I am not aware of that way right now. Or do I want, like, gold? I love gold. There, it's gold. Uh, do I want grass? Here's a grass material. Put it down there. Again, this is these are bare-bone basic tutorials. I'm not going to be showing you how to use kismet or these other crazy things that are within UDK. So, there we go. 